what I'm told, you guys are working on a special Steve Cropper Tele style guitar. There's a new version of the prototype that just got finished. You haven't seen it yet, no, but we were seen we it. were talking beforehand, and you said you'd let us watch you kind of do your Q and A okay. process. Well, All right, so take us through the process. You're looking at this for the first time. It's a prototype. What do you look for? Well, you know, I, what I, uh, of course, I'm not even in the same ball game as far as playing ability as Steve, but I imagine myself to be the customer. You know, happiness is never having to say I'm sorry. So I look at I look at this thing with a very jaundiced eye. I want to see, is there any orange peel in the paint? And you notice that we have uh, around here, if you can see, the binding is wood, it's not plastic. Um, the neck, the contour of the neck, when I slide my fingers up and down it, it is there any rough spots? Is it gonna make, is it gonna make Steve, Steve feel uncomfortable playing it? Um, got the satin finish on the back, that's cool. Yeah. A mahogany neck. Cowabunga, I didn't know he wanted a mahogany neck. Did he want a mahogany neck? Well, okay. All right. That's interesting. As you can see, the, the woodwork is beautiful. The plating job is beautiful. There are no, if you hold it up to the light and look, you can see any uh, places where the paint might have been buffed through. The satin neck gives it a very silky feel when you play it and I'd have to say pretty damn good guys and so as far I mean, as the process goes you worked with Steve on the appointments and the design this is a couple prototypes in well, uh, you know you know Steve is a very uh, exacting guy he's pretty straight ahead he tells you if he doesn't like it he tells you if he does he does and uh, actually he's been a great great person to work with and uh, a legend and, and guitar playing and um, no I, I, I think you'll like it but again you know this is a the, the shape of this guitar we extended the bout a little bit uh, so it will balance better again my thought is that if you're playing a guitar and you you take a bow when you stand back up it should assume the playing position so that that's the goal we design all of our guitars that way but that's a that's a beautiful piece of craftsmanship, but I do say so myself. I don't know if you can see, but I mean, there are some nice contours all throughout the face of this guitar that are uh, really nice. But at the end of the day, it's going to be Steve, whether he likes it or not. And he's pretty exacting. So we may have to come in and put a few more or less wines on either of the coils, the single coil or the humbucker. But I mean, this is as nice a guitar bolt-on neck guitars I think you're gonna find. That's your bridge plate, correct? That's, yeah, that's a, a, a version of our bridge bridge plate. Uh, it's basically thicker, because what you typically see in, in this style of guitar is a very thin, yes. uh, like 032. If you notice, this is like an eighth of an inch thick. It's these little things like that that make a difference that people like Steve can appreciate. So, okay. And, of course, the, we've got a lot more uh, tension. I don't know whether you can see that satin finish on that neck. And we didn't put a lot of fancy stuff, just my signature, which, you know, I've, I've, I used to have to sign the checks around here, so I learned to write my name very fast. And that's where that signature came from. I actually, I signed a, a check in Miami like that one time. The lady said, I'm not going to take it because nobody writes like that. And I said, lady, you just saw me do it. She wouldn't cash the check. <laughs> Here's one we're doing for Jerry Donahue. Jerry's a little more traditional than Steve is, and he doesn't like to depart from the, the stamped, yeah, the ashtray, sheet metal. But the saddle. Yeah, he, he essentially, he uses... Uh, these signature Seymour Duncan pickups of his, Seymour did for him, and this is a much more conventional guitar than what we saw, but still retaining some of our little embellishments like the five screw bolt on, and uh, this this is a, a, a body for a guitar that we call the Omniac, and don't ask me what that means, that's just what he wanted to call it, so this is an Omniac. This has a... Uh, 
kind of a classic feel. It's a kind of a triangular neck because that's what Jerry likes. Again, um, it's a it's a somewhat traditionally because Jerry likes the thing with this, you know, crazy uh, thing because that's that's the way Jerry likes it. If I were doing it, frankly, I wouldn't do it that way, but that's what he likes. So if he likes it, that's what we do. But the neck has a has a different contour, and because we do this thing on a numerical control machine, they're all just alike. They're, you can look at you can in fact as you can take a lot of the old vintage guitars you can go down a row of them there won't be two of them that, that are alike that's why I said some of them are good and some of them frankly are not so good and some of them are unfortunately crap it was a lack of consistency